exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network. De Ming The reason why Zhu Yuanzhang chose to end the Ming dynasty at the beginning. In the twentieth year of the Hongwu reign, Zhu Yungui traveled through time. Faced with the tragic life he was about to embark on, he unexpectedly awakened to the problem.solving system, where as long as he had others answer questions, he could receive rewards. Pull Zhu Yuanzhang into space at the beginning. Zhu Yuanzhang. Zhu Di, could you explain why you are ranked 13th on the list of emperors? Zhu Biao. Fourth, have you taken my throne? Zhu Di. Why is my name on this list? Father, big brother, listen to my explanation. Zhu Yunwen said, so my father will die early. So when we inherit the throne, the first thing we do is invite Uncle Zhu Di to the capital. Everyone. Dot. Zhu Yuanzhang said, we have decided to appoint Yun Yu as the crown prince. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 The Great Ming Emperor Activate the Quiz Maker System You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Pasha throws something on the ground casually, making a crisp sound. There was a hint of solemnity on Zhu Yingui's face. Where is this? How am I here? Who am I? An antique room, understated and luxurious decorations inside, and guards waiting outside at any time Zhu Yungui can guarantee that this is definitely not his bedroom. A wave of memory flooded into the brain. After a while, he finally reopened his eyes. I traveled through time and became Zhu Yungui of the Ming Dynasty. Have you become the grandson of the Ming Dynasty? Zhu Yungui widened his eyes. This is the royal family of feudal society. Directly becoming the most prestigious group of people in the world. But before Zhu could be excited for long, he suddenly realized something very serious. No. The current time point is. The twentieth year of Hanwu. Zhu Yungui's face slightly darkened. Empress Ma died in the fifteenth year of the Hanwu reign, which has nothing to do with herself. The most important thing is the death of Zhu Biao four years later. Zhu Biao died. When Zhu Yuanzhang dies, the throne will fall on Zhu Yunwen. As Zhu Yunwen's half-brother, he will be granted the title of King of Wu. That's not a big deal. I can't be an emperor, but I can accept being a prince. But it is absolutely unacceptable. According to the original history, I couldn't wait to become a vassal. My good uncle Zhu Di will launch the Jingnan incident. In just three years, it was time to break into the palace. And myself, from the king of Wu to a commoner. Even a few years later, they will be falsely accused of plotting rebellion as the Jiang Wenjun. Just went berserk. That is to say, I only have ten years of good life left now. This is not the beginning of Tianhu, it's the beginning of hell. Thinking of his own situation, Zhu Yungui rubbed his forehead. I have a headache. Are you joking? My own imperial grandfather was originally a person with extremely strong traditional beliefs. If one's cheap mother, Changshi, has not passed away, one can argue for it. But the current crown princess is Lady LV. Zhu Yunwen is the nominal crown prince. If there were no accidents, I am likely to have followed the original historical trajectory throughout my life. At that moment, a sound suddenly rang in his ear. Ding, congratulations on activating the quiz maker system. The quiz maker system is currently being bound, please wait. Ding, system binding successful, question maker system. Zhu Yungui was stunned for a moment. In an instant, his mind was filled with thoughts. Did I come to the Ming Dynasty and cannot escape the fate of solving problems? This is simply too pathetic, isn't it? However, it wasn't until he finished reading about the problem.solving system that Zhu Yungui suddenly realized. He touched his chin with a calm expression on his face. 
So it looks like this, this problem dot solving system is not designed for him to do the exercises, but can pull some people into the problem dot solving space and let the selected person do the exercises. The higher the accuracy of answering questions, the more rewards one can ultimately receive. And some of these questions were randomly selected from the system space, while others were chosen by him himself. When Zhu Yingui saw this, a bright light flashed in his eyes. If you put Zhu Yuanzhang and his team into the question space and choose some questions that can show the direction of history, then the history of the Ming Dynasty will definitely change. Even if Zhu Yuanzhang knew about the future of the Ming Dynasty, he would stand out even more. It may not be impossible to snatch the throne from Zhu Yunwen's hands. A leisurely prince. Where is it more comfortable than becoming the Lord of 95? Many people in their past lives said that they did not want to be emperors when traveling through ancient times, but only wanted to be a prince. However, if they were really allowed to choose, the vast majority would definitely choose to become the 95th emperor. Thinking of this, Zhu Yungui suddenly smiled. He directly opened the problem solving space, and then waited for the person he selected to enter this space. Meanwhile, in the Feng Tian Palace there was a slight solemnity in Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes. He looked at the memorial in front of him and lightly pressed his forehead. Li Shanchang, Lan Yu, and other courtiers stood quietly in the hall, waiting patiently. Faced with this fickle and diligent emperor, no one dares to be reckless here. After a moment, Zhu Yuanzhang's majestic voice slowly sounded. Let's talk about it. Your views on the Northern Yuan Dynasty Since the establishment of the Ming Dynasty, the Northern Yuan Dynasty has been driven to the grasslands. Although struggling to survive, we cannot underestimate it. Since the founding of the country, Daiming has already carried out four northern expeditions. Although they have achieved some results, they are unable to completely eradicate them. And this time, the remaining forces of the Northern Yuan Dynasty have made a comeback, burning, killing, and looting on the border of the Ming Dynasty. Li Shanchang and Lan Yu exchanged a glance, each with their own thoughts in their eyes. Your Majesty, I think it's better to wait for the Fifth Northern Expedition. Li Shanchang took a step forward with a hint of worry on his face. Now that the Ming Dynasty has only been established for twenty years, it is still in a state of complete disrepair. The first four northern expeditions have already depleted the national treasury. Although the army is strong and the horses are strong, the people need to rest and recuperate. Upon hearing these words, Lan Yu sneered disdainfully. Resting and recuperating. Korean Gong, I see you're an old fool. Lan Yu's face was full of a heavy expression, with a fierce killing intent. I inform your majesty that I am aware that the fifth northern expedition is bound to be won. Nowadays, the northern border of our Ming dynasty is vast, and it has only been twenty years since we separated from the rule of the northern Yuan dynasty. If we let the northern Yuan invade us, will the people of northern Xinjiang still consider us as the subjects of our Ming dynasty? Moreover, your majesty has always valued the people, while the northern Yuan dynasty regarded them as slaves and used cruel means. How can we sit idly by and ignore the remnants of the northern Yuan dynasty's infringement on the people? This remark left Li Shanchang speechless. However, he did not refute, but instead turned to the upper echelons. No matter what kind of argument they have here, whether they want to make the northern expedition or not is up to this the final say. Zhu Yuanzhang looked at the silent courtiers. I also understand in my heart that this is waiting for me to make a decision. In terms of heart, he is more supportive of Blue Jade for Zhu Yuanzhang, the Ming dynasty had already unified the world, but the Northern Yuan dynasty was ultimately a threat. Moreover, I haven't received the National Jade Seal yet, and that thing was taken to the grassland by the Northern Yuan dynasty. That's also why he has been persisting in the northern expedition. If you can't get the jade seal of the state of transmission, it's like you don't have the integrity of your country, and you feel unhappy no matter what you think. But Li Shanchang's words cannot be ignored. Although I cannot implement many policies that benefit the people, I have launched four consecutive northern expeditions. 
I really can't bear it anymore. However, before he could speak, light suddenly lit up on the side of the palace. This radiance was dazzling, and then slowly converged together. Formed a huge and incomparable door. A group of generals were startled and stepped forward to protect Zhu Yuanzhang. My eyes are full of tension. What is this thing? Zhu Yuanzhang squinted his eyes and stared closely at the light gate, is it the door to the immortal's place? He was just thinking about the issue of improper governance, and as a result, this thing happened Zhu Yuanzhang couldn't help but become superstitious. Mainly because this thing appeared too strangely. He turned around and glanced at the eunuch standing behind him, saying, Yinchi, you go try it. Yunchi nodded and took a step forward, reaching out to touch the door. This eunuch was the key figure in the case of Zhu Yuanzhang's execution of Hu Weiyong, and as Zhu Yuanzhang's confidant, he was naturally the most trusted. But that door showed no response at all. Yunqi's hand could not be extended any further. Zhu Yuanzhang frowned when he saw this scene. Why can't you enter? Isn't it the so dot called immortal residence? Subconsciously, he reached out his hand directly to touch the light gate, and in an instant, his hand actually entered directly into this light gate. After thinking for a moment, Zhu Yuanzhang took a step forward directly. The whole person disappeared into the main hall. Your Majesty! Standing beside him, Lan Yu and Li Shan Chang exclaimed in surprise upon seeing this scene. The ministers were completely bewildered. Where has the emperor gone? Li Shan Chang and Lan Yu exchanged a glance and took an instant forward. If something happens to your majesty, who in this world can afford it? Stepping out, the two of them instantly walked into this light gate. Within the light gate Zhu Yuanzhang looked at everything in front of him, squinting his eyes and exuding a powerful aura. He walked forward with a domineering yet cautious demeanor. The surrounding space was filled with thick fog, making it difficult to see clearly in the southeast, northwest, and north. Where is this place? Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2 Zhu Yuanzhang Biaor, why didn't you? You are listening at novel full dot audio. Zhu Yuanzhang walked around with a cautious expression on his face. But the hand is always placed on the long sword at the waist. Although it is speculated that this is the place of immortals, after all, I have not seen immortals. I took a few steps. The white mist slowly dissipated, revealing a vast expanse of open space. There are several cattails here. There is nothing in front of Futuan. The surrounding decorations are all golden, and there are also some quaint decorations. This place is shrouded in fairy mist, and there are so many mysterious things. Isn't it really the place of immortals? Zhu Yuanzhang had no idea of immortality, but he couldn't help but feel tempted. Faced with such a miracle, I'm afraid no one can refuse it. Suddenly, a series of footsteps sounded. Who? Zhu Yuanzhang suddenly looked up and saw Li Shan Chang, Lan Yu, Zhu Biao, and Zhu Di standing there with a confused expression on their faces. When they saw Zhu Yuanzhang, everyone immediately became excited. Your Majesty, are you okay? Father, why are you here too? Dad, do you know where this is? Everyone quickly ran to Zhu Yuanzhang's side and bowed with their hands. Zhu Yuanzhang squinted his eyes and his face became even more suspicious. Where is this place? Why did these few of them all come here? Biaor, dear, how did you two appear here? Li Shanchang and Lan Yu Zhu Yuanzhang could guess that they probably followed him in. But Zhu Biao and Zhu Di are these two people. It seems like I didn't go to court today, right? Zhu Biao replied, Father, today my child is organizing his books. He saw a light door appearing in the study and was immediately sucked in by a touch. Zhu Di nodded repeatedly and said, I'm similar to this situation. Are they all coming in through the light gate? 
Zhu Yuanzhong frowned. Just as he was about to say something. Large characters slowly coalesced in the sky, revealing what this place is and its rules. This is the space for problem-solving experts. All of you are invited by the lord of this space. You can answer questions here. After you finish answering the questions, you will receive rewards based on your accuracy rate, the selection range of questions includes. Ming Dynasty Incident List, Emperor List, and Wen Chen Wu Jiang List Question Maker Space. Is this a fairyland? Zhu Yuanzhang widened his eyes and looked at the Futuan ahead, pondering. Lan Yu took a timely step forward and whispered, Your Majesty, I am afraid I have never heard of the ability to reveal words out of thin air in the sky. Since we have already come here, why not give it a try according to the rules? Those who can quietly do these things are probably already among the immortal gods. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly, with a solemn expression on his face. Indeed, that's true. We are in different places, but in an instant, we are completely pulled into this space. The senior who brought us in is already among the immortal gods. I just don't know why they chose us. The text in the sky quickly disappeared, followed by three huge rankings. The Ming Incident List, Emperor List, Wen Chen Wujiang List, Zhu Yuanzhang looked up at the three lists hanging in the sky and exclaimed, they are truly divine means. Two young ladies, which list do you think is suitable for us to look at first? Li Shanchang immediately took a step forward and said with a pleasing tone in his voice, Your Majesty, since you have come here, you naturally need to take a look at this imperial list first. I feel that Your Majesty is definitely among the top ranked. Zhu Biao nodded repeatedly and said, I agree with the statement of the Korean Duke. Besides wanting to see how his father ranks on the emperor list, he also wants to see himself. After all, I will also be the king of the Ming dynasty in the future. I don't know what kind of person I am in the emperor's list. After listening to the two of them, Zhu Yuanzhang smiled slightly and said, since that's the case, let's take a look at the emperor's list first. As Zhu Yuanzhang's words fell, the list above the sky slowly unfolded. Everyone immediately looked up and saw a line of big characters clearly existing. First place. Emperor Qin Shi Huang Yingzheng. Second place. Tang Taizong Li Shimin. Third place. Ming Taizu Zhu Yuanzhang. Fourth place. Emperor Wu of Han Lu Che. Fifth place. Oh. How could we be ranked third on the emperor's list? When he saw the third name on the list, Zhu Yuanzhang immediately smiled. There are many emperors recorded in this. It is definitely ranked by future generations. As the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang's ranking first is undoubtedly worthy of it. Zhu Yuanzhang was also quite convinced of this. As for Li Shiming, he can also be considered to have created the prosperous era of the Tang dynasty. The Tang dynasty was once the idol of Zhu Yuanzhang, and he hoped that the Ming dynasty would also be like the Tang dynasty. Ranking second is not bad. And I rank third, it seems that I am also very high in the hearts of future generations. Your Majesty, 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 the four people on the side quickly started flattering. Zhu Yuanzhang chuckled and felt quite proud in his heart. Ninth place. Emperor Kublai Khan of the Yuan Dynasty. Tenth place. Zhao Kuangyin, Emperor Taizu of Song. Dot. The list of emperors is still slowly unfolding. And Zhu Yuanzhang also attempted to continue searching for the names of other emperors of the Ming dynasty in this list. However, his eyebrows quickly furrowed together. He didn't even see Zhu Biao's name in the top ten. Immediately snorted coldly, humph. Zhu Biao. Zhu Biao immediately took a step forward, 
and when he saw Zhu Yuanzhang's angry expression, he had already guessed something. Father, I am ashamed of my father's cultivation and have disappointed him. As a carefully trained crown prince, he surprisingly did not rank among the top ten emperors. But his own father is the third ranked emperor. It is inevitable that anger will not occur. Zhu Biao's face was full of guilt. Zhu Yuanzhang's face wore an angry and uncompromising expression, but in the end, he just waved his hand and said, After you go back, you can reflect on yourself for me. Why didn't you even make it into the top ten? Zhu Biao lowered his head and responded, Here, Li Shanchang and Lan Yu exchanged a glance, their eyes filled with helplessness. Your Majesty's high demands on the Crown Prince have indeed made them ashamed. The top ten emperors were either the first generation emperors who expanded their territory, or the great emperors who made great contributions and remained famous throughout history. Where is it so easy to squeeze in? But Zhu Yuanzhang didn't care about these things. He just continued to stare at the slowly unfolding imperial list, but didn't expect to see a name that couldn't possibly appear on it. 13th place. Zhu Di, Ming Chengzu. Zhu, Zhu Di. Zhu Yuanzhang widened his eyes and spoke in a tone full of shock, well, how could this be? My son Zhu Biao did not appear. Did Zhu Di appear as a result? Not just Zhu Yuanzhang. Even the other few standing aside had a bewildered expression on their faces. How could the name of King Yen, Old Four, be on it? Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3. Zhu Di. Damn it. Why is my name? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is it usurping the throne? Pop it. Without any hesitation, Zhu Di knelt down and wept bitterly, Big brother, I have no intention of taking the upper hand. It's not for any other reason. But he was cowardly. As the eldest brother of a group of brothers, Zhu Biao is not only a prince valued by Zhu Yuanzhang, but also a highly respected and prestigious presence among the royal siblings. It can be said that inheriting the 95th emperor is definitely a matter of certainty. And now? Did you actually appear on the emperor's list? Is this space for doing exercises intentionally trying to harm me? Zhu Biao quickly helped Zhu Di up and said gently, Fourth, don't worry, maybe this list is wrong. But Zhu Di's legs were already weak from fear. His two eyes secretly turned to Zhu Yuanzhang, fearing that his father would not be able to help but depose him. However, at this moment, Zhu Yuanzhang's face also carried a hint of surprise. How could this be possible? Although Zhu Di has a good ability to mount a horse and fight, he absolutely cannot hand over the empire to him. I have already appointed my eldest son Zhu Biao to inherit the throne. However speaking of which, it's not bad that Zhu Di was able to rank 13th on the list of emperors. But what exactly is going on? May I ask the immortal, is there any mistake in this list? Why did my son Zhu Di appear? Zhu Yuanzhang couldn't help but ask. Zhu Yungui sat upright in the space, watching this scene. When he heard Zhu Yuanzhang's question, the corner of his mouth twitched slightly. Why is there Zhu Di? Grandpa Huang, you should ask this good son Zhu Di carefully. Although Zhu Di had some skills in governing the country, Zhu Yungui did not have a favorable impression of him. According to historical records, I was demoted to a commoner by this person, and I was killed for plotting rebellion. As for the Zhu Biao that Grandpa Huang has always cherished you don't know yet, do you? My cheap father will die of illness in four years. How could he become an emperor? If there were a crown prince list, it would be possible to get on. Zhu Yungui waved his sleeve. The clouds in space converged into large characters according to his mind. The list is correct, Zhu Yuanzhang looked at the few words floating in the space and squinted his eyes. There is a hint of danger in his expression. 
He is a beggar emperor who started with a broken bowl and naturally has a quick mind. If the list is correct, it indicates that Zhu Di has indeed become an emperor and his ranking is not low. So there are only two possibilities. Either Zhu Di used the army of the fiefdom to seize the throne of Biao, or Zhu Di seized the throne of the descendants of Biao. No matter which possibility, it's not a good thing. Establish your own system of feudal lords. I don't want these feudal lords to compete for the throne. Zhu Di's face stiffened as he said, Father, Father Emperor, there must have been a misunderstanding among them. I hope you can investigate further. Zhu Yuanzhang gave Zhu Di a cold glance, then turned to Li Shan Chang and Lan Yu and said, Today's events cannot be disclosed. The two of them also understood and quickly lowered their heads to agree. The list of emperors is still unfolding. 38th place Emperor Wu of Ming, Zhu Hou Zhao. 39th place When the name of the Ming Dynasty Emperor gradually appeared on the list, but the rankings were all lower. Zhu Yuanzhang could not have been happy either. And Zhu Biao on the side was also a bit panicked. Why hasn't his name appeared yet? Is he really so bad at being an emperor? Do you think so? Crown Prince Zhu Biao had already. Lan Yu whispered to Li Shan Chang beside her. Startled, Li Shan Chang quickly covered his mouth and said, This matter cannot be discussed in vain. But thinking about it, I also know. Prince Zhu Biao has a kind dot hearted heart and is also a good elder brother who is well received by all the feudal lords. The name hasn't appeared yet, there are indeed some issues. As expected. After all the rankings were finished, Zhu Biao's name still did not appear. Is it? Zhu Yuanzhang took a deep breath and gave Zhu Di a deep glance. Even Hu Hai will appear on the emperor's list. But Zhu Biao did not appear. The only possible reason is that Zhu Biao never ascended the throne. That is to say, it is highly likely that Zhu Biao would have dead. Father, don't worry. Zhu Biao's gentle voice came, seemingly with a hint of comfort. I believe he also guessed this. Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes sank as he saw that this was the crown prince he valued the most. If he hadn't ascended the throne, he would have died so he can't accept it no matter what. Looking at the remaining two rankings, a glimmer of inspiration suddenly flashed in Zhu Yuanzhang's mind, Immortal, I wonder if there is a way to rescue Biao Er. In the reward for answering questions, there may be a way to save them, sure enough. Zhu Yuanzhang was somewhat excited. There is indeed a great opportunity for me to enter the space where this Immortal is doing questions. Everything still has a turning point now. Zhu Yuanzhang was no longer interested in the remaining two lists. I choose the emperor's list. As his words fell, the handwriting and scene on the sky began to change, with large characters appearing one by one, imprinted on the sky. Choose the emperor ranking. Answering begins. Which of the following is the founding emperor of the Ming dynasty? A. Zhu Yuanzhang B. Lu Bang C. Ingxing D. Zhao Kuangyin. At the moment this problem appeared, everyone present was stunned. They never expected that the first question would be so simple. Anyone from the Ming dynasty who comes over knows the answer, right? Fairy, I choose A. Without hesitation, Zhu Yuanzhang immediately said. Ding, congratulations on the correct answer. The founding emperor of the Ming dynasty was Zhu Yuanzhang, the founder of the Ming dynasty. Han Gaozu Lu Bang was the founding emperor of the Han dynasty, Qin Shi Huang Yingzheng was the founding emperor of the Qin dynasty, and Song Taizu Zhao Kuanyin was the founding emperor of the Song dynasty, current answer is correct. One-fifth, the first question is simply a scoring question. Zhu Yuanzhang looked at the answer analysis and found the bottom line. Are there a total of five questions? The higher the accuracy, the richer the reward. I don't know what the next question will be. Which of the following is not the reason for the downfall of the Ming Dynasty A. Impoverished and destitute B. Peasant uprising C. Jianu invasion D. Japanese pirates invading the border, Qingming outing and happy reading. 
charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4 Zhu Yuanzhang was extremely angry and laughed back, while Li Shanchang was both. You are listening at novelfull.audio. His, at the moment they saw this question, the four of them instinctively looked at Zhu Yuanzhang. As expected, Zhu Yuanzhang's face was very ugly. It's so gloomy that it's about to drip water. Talking about the reasons for destruction in front of the founding emperor. Zhu Yuanzhang still wants the eternal grandson of the Ming dynasty. Father, if we can learn from this the reason for the downfall of my Ming dynasty, perhaps we can take some precautions. Zhu Biao's words awakened Zhu Yuanzhang. He nodded slightly and said, not bad. Now that the Ming dynasty has only been established for twenty years, there is probably a long way to go before the collapse of the Ming dynasty mentioned above. If we could know in advance. It may not be impossible to prevent him from happening again. Which answer would be better for you to choose? Zhu Yuanzhang asked. Lan Yu and Zhu Di looked bewildered, their strength was on the charts, but they were far behind in terms of intelligence. At a critical moment, it was Li Shanchang who stood up. Your Majesty, if the Ming Dynasty really falls on the brink of extinction one day, then there will definitely be domestic conflicts, so the second answer can be ruled out. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly, which was also his idea. After all, the Yuan was overthrown by the peasant uprising army. As the beggar emperor who started with a bowl. He even possessed the power of farmers. That's why so many policies that benefit the people were promulgated, and the true foundation of a dynasty will always be the farmers. Li Shanchang continued, next is the third answer. The collapse of the kingdom will inevitably have internal and external troubles. This Jinnu is probably the barbarians in the north, so this answer is also likely to be ruled out. It makes sense. Zhu Yuanzhang's gaze fell on the third answer, but his brow furrowed. Jinnu. This name it sounds a bit familiar. Lan Yu stood up and said, Your Majesty, this Jinnu is a small tribe in the north, with a leader named Huo Er A and a population of 20,000 households. Recently, he also requested to come to our Ming dynasty to pay tribute. With this statement, Zhu Yuanzhang understood. My eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a dangerous expression. Can a tribe of just 20,000 people become an external threat to my Ming dynasty? Zhu Di interjected, perhaps it was because Jian Nu gradually grew stronger. Dad, if my Ming dynasty is on the brink of destruction, our national strength will definitely weaken. My son suggests that we should take advantage of the fact that this Jian Nu is still weak and eliminate it. Zhu Yuanzhang didn't want to speak, he just stared coldly at Zhu Di. Before the reason why Zhu Di became emperor came out, he already had serious dissatisfaction with his son. Back in the day, he withdrew from the feudal system by excluding popular opinions. Did you, the filial son, give me a usurpation of the throne? Isn't this hitting your dad's face? Facing Zhu Yuanzhang's gaze, Zhu Di's neck shrank and he quickly stood back, afraid to speak. Seeing the awkward atmosphere, Zhu Biao quickly cleared the situation and said, Dad, what Lao Si said is indeed reasonable. If we can eliminate Jian Nu in advance, then it will definitely not become an external threat to my Ming dynasty in the future. The crown prince still understands the truth. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded and emphasized the tone above the words, Prince. Zhu Di felt like crying without tears. Dad, I really have no intention of usurping the throne. Shan Chang, continue speaking. Zhu Yuanzhang no longer paid attention to Zhu Di, but only looked at the first and fourth options. The party and government of the court, as well as the Japanese pirates invading the border. Li Shanchang wiped away non-existent sweat before continuing to speak, as for the first and fourth options, I actually feel that only the fourth option is possible. Because. If all the farmers go up in rebellion, wouldn't Daiming have no money? As he spoke later, his voice became quieter. 
Although His Majesty may seem indifferent to peasant uprisings, how could he not have cared about the downfall of the Ming dynasty? If I keep mentioning it. He was afraid that the next second, this capricious emperor would chop him off. Hear this. Zhu Yuanzhang also nodded, and in his opinion, it was the same. At the first moment he saw the question, he actually confirmed that option 4 had a great possibility. Perhaps he cannot determine the other three routes besides the peasant uprising. But the fourth option is very obvious. The Japanese pirates are those overseas bandits who often harass the coastal borders of the Ming dynasty. In the past, because the main enemy of the Ming dynasty was the remnants of the northern Yuan forces. Unable to cope with Japanese pirates. Therefore, Zhu Yuanzhang ordered the closure of customs and all coastal residents to retreat a hundred miles from the coast. This can avoid the trouble of Japanese pirates. If the Japanese pirates dare to go ashore, then the Ming army is not vegetarian either. As for later generations, after the suppression of the northern Yuan dynasty, it is not too late to reopen customs and eliminate the Japanese pirates. However, Zhu Yuanzhang did not expect that in later generations, those officials of the Ming dynasty would one by one use the ancestral law to remain unchanged and obstruct the emperor's attempts to open customs in various ways. If I know. We must slaughter all these unborn guys and exterminate them. It's just a group of bandits, it can't become a climate in the end. So, the final answer is the fourth option. Zhu Yuanzhang raised his head and looked firmly at the sky, saying, I have chosen the fourth option. Ding, congratulations on the correct answer, the current question can be viewed for analysis. Do you want to view the analysis? Analysis. Zhu Yuanzhang blinked his eyes before speaking softly, check it out. Since the Wanli period, the Donglin party has risen and quickly controlled the entire court. The Ming dynasty began the era of party struggle. When Emperor Chongzhen requested the Donglin party to donate money to save the country, he only collected 30,000 taels of silver, note. After Li Zicheng took control of the capital, a total of over 70 million taels of stolen property were stolen. Click the Jade Rui, which was originally held by Zhu Yuanzhang, was directly crushed by him. The joy of choosing the right answer disappeared without a trace in an instant. There was a hint of killing intent in the eyes of this Ming Emperor. It's like a volcano about to erupt. Staring at the analysis, the voice suppressed anger. Donating money to save the country, the entire court raised 30,000 taels. The traitor entered the capital and stole more than 70 million taels. Okay, okay. They are all worthy of being good courtiers of the Ming dynasty. Li Shanchang was so frightened that he knelt down directly and said, Your Majesty, this must be the group of people who are obsessed with it. The analysis of this question contains too much information. If we all don't have money and can't donate, it's okay to say. As a result, you donated 30,000 tails in the front and 70 million tails in the back. Li Shanchang wished he could travel directly to the end of the Ming dynasty and strangle all these foolish officials. If Xu Yuanzhang were to vent his anger on the current civil servants for this. How could he be a good civil servant leader? However, Zhu Yuanzhang's angry expression lasted for a moment, and then he happily lifted Li Shanchang and said, Shan Chang, we're not talking about you. What are you afraid of? Seeing Zhu Yuanzhang smile, Li Shan Chang's legs became weak and he almost knelt down again. After following this Ming emperor for so many years, he knows Zhu Yuanzhang too well. Having a gloomy face may not be a big deal, but if we start laughing, it's over. Next. The court of Daiming is probably going to explode. Li Shan Chang doesn't want to do anything, he just keeps praying in his heart, but don't involve himself. P.S. There was an error in the previous option, and this chapter has been corrected Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. Heaven wants the great Ming to fall. Start with a bowl. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Continue to check the parsing. Zhu Yuanzhang smiled and said, Now that we all know the reason for the downfall of the Ming Dynasty, how could we still repeat the same mistake? Do you think so, Shan Chang? Hear this sentence. Li Shan Chang almost fainted with a black eye. In the Hongwu Dynasty, the emperor was already cruel enough towards civil servants. If the amount of embezzlement exceeds fifty tails, it will be directly stripped of the skin and used as grass. And Li Zicheng plagiarized his family, directly copying out seventy million tails of silver Li Shanchang's face turned to ashes. It's over. Completely finished. This time in the political arena of the Ming Dynasty, I'm afraid it will be stirred up to the ground. What kind of offspring are these future civil servants? How dare you be so damn greedy? Keep checking. Zhu Yuanzhang refocused his gaze on the sky. However, the following analysis. Just let his originally smiling face hide a knife. It looks completely ugly. In the late Ming Dynasty, China entered the Little Ice Age, with a reduction in grain production nationwide and thousands of miles of barren land in the north. The south was covered in ice for thousands of miles, and the whole country was vulnerable to food shortages. Countless livestock and crops were also affected, leading to the rise of peasant uprisings. Special note. There have been a total of four Little Ice Age events in history. The first occurred at the end of the Yin and Shang dynasties, directly leading to the Zhou dynasty's Shang dynasty. The second occurred at the end of the Eastern Han dynasty, leading to the Three Kingdoms period. The third occurred at the end of the Tang dynasty, leading to the Five Dynasties period. The fourth occurred at the end of the Ming dynasty, and the Little Ice Age at the end of the Ming dynasty was the most of the four. Not to mention Zhu Yuanzhang, the other four were also completely confused. Little Ice Age National Grain Production Reduction A thousand miles in the wilderness Frozen for thousands of miles Is this, is it that the gods are punishing the Ming Dynasty? No wonder, no wonder. Zhu Yuanzhang murmured, as if he had lost his soul. Upon seeing this, Zhu Biao quickly stepped forward to help his father. Without the emperor's former authority, he looked like an ordinary old farmer. Zhu Yuanzhang looked at the analysis as if someone had pressed his throat. He, who used to be a farmer, knew what it was like to go hungry, just like when the uprising was just about having a full meal. How could such a dynasty not perish if the national food production were to decrease? The arrival of the Four Little Ice Age is always a time for dynastic changes. Daming, is it also difficult to escape misfortune? No, there's a way, there must be a way. Zhu Yuanzhang broke free from Zhu Biao's hand and stared intently at the sky, saying, since the immortal has sent us to this question space, he must be trying to save me, Daming. My Ming Dynasty's method of breaking the game is within this fairy tale. Zhu Yungui in the sky looked at Zhu Yuanzhang, who was somewhat insane. I also have some admiration in my heart. As an emperor from a peasant background, Zhu Yuanzhang is the only one who can achieve such diligence and serve the country and the people. Other peasant emperors, such as Li Zicheng. All of them were hard work and hard work in the early stages, and after becoming the emperor, they were full of lust and excitement. Even if it's a slender background like Lu Bang. When I first took control of the Qin Palace, I indulged in extravagance, but later I was scolded by Zhang Liang before I realized it. Later generations only saw the brutality of Zhu Yuanzhang. But he did not know how difficult it was for Zhu Yuanzhang, who came from a peasant background, to restrain himself, observe etiquette, and be diligent in political affairs. With a wave of his hand, another row of large characters appeared. There are many rewards for problem-solving space, and there may be ways to save the country upon seeing this sentence, Zhu Yuanzhang was immediately full of energy. The disappointment just now was swept away, and I turned to bow straight to the sky, saying, Thank you very much to the immortal for giving me the way to save the country. The other four people also dared not be careless and saluted one after another. Seeing Zhu Yungui in the sky, 
he couldn't help but chuckle inwardly. Can he also be considered the only one who can make Xu Yuanzhang salute? Your Majesty, let's continue with the analysis. Li Shanchang suggested. We need to quickly shift the Emperor's attention. Otherwise, if the Emperor were to associate 700000 tails with the people for easy food, they would have a good time. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly and said, Since the Immortal has already said that there is a way to save the country here, no matter what happens next, we can calmly watch. In the 44th year of the Wanli reign of the Ming dynasty, Nurhasai declared himself a Khan in Hichu Allah and openly rebelled against the Ming government. Two years later, he issued a proclamation of seven great hates against Ming, vowing to fight against Ming, which shocked the whole country. One year later, the Ming dynasty suffered a disastrous defeat in the Battle of Saru and lost more than 70 cities in Liaodong in a few years after Huang Taiji succeeded to the throne, he continued to launch attacks on the Ming dynasty and joined forces with various Mongol tribes, expanding his influence. In the ninth year of Chongzhen's reign, he destroyed the Ming dynasty and established the Qing dynasty. Chongzhen hanged himself in Maishan before the collapse of the country, later generations jokingly referred to the Ming dynasty as starting with a bowl, ending with a rope, dot. Zhu Yuanzhang fell silent. Zhu Biao and Zhu Di also fell silent. Nowadays, the Ming dynasty is soaring and rising like the sun. The sun and moon shine, all for the bright future. But it was at this moment that they witnessed the end of Jianu's conquest of the capital and the self-hanging of Emperor Maishan of the Ming dynasty. Start with a bowl, end with a rope, I don't believe it, this is definitely not the end of the Ming dynasty. After the silence. Zhu Yuanzhang was like an angry lion, gritting his teeth. Even if future generations and grandchildren are really so disrespectful, I must still save Daiming. Jianu Nuzan, I will surely destroy it. Lan Yu no longer remained silent and immediately declared, originally a pioneer of your majesty, the Jianu Jurchen, only had 20,000 households, but they could be destroyed with just a flick of a finger. Okay. Zhu Yuanzhang's intention to kill had already been determined in his heart. Looking towards the last remaining parsing again. The invasion of Japanese pirates continued until the judging period of the Ming dynasty, when the anti-Japanese general Qi Jiguang invented the Mandarin Duck Formation, which played a crucial role in fighting against Japanese pirates invading the border, Yuanyang Formation. The formation of the Yuanyang Formation consists of 11 people in a team, with the first team leader and the second two people holding one long card and one rattan card. The long card holder holds a long shield to shield the arrows and spears of the Japanese pirates. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6. Blue Jade. How could this still drag me up? You are listening at novelfull.audio. If the enemy twists and turns to attack, the short soldier will rush forward with a short knife to kill the enemy. The division of labor for various weapons is clear, and each person only needs to be proficient in their own operation. The key to effective killing lies in overall coordination and prohibition, which is the essence of the Mandarin Duck Formation after reading the text in the sky introducing the Mandarin Duck Formation, Lan Yu's eyes flashed with brilliance. Your Majesty, the formation of this Mandarin Duck Formation has never been heard of before. If it can be applied in advance in the military, perhaps we can open up the sea ahead of time. If one word is used to describe the Mandarin Duck Formation, it is both offensive and defensive. Even a veteran like Lan Yu, who has been fighting on the battlefield for decades, still has a feeling of shining before his eyes. I don't know who Qi Jiguang is, he can actually solve the problem of the Japanese pirates. Zhu Yuanzhang exclaimed in amazement. It seems that there were still many talents in the Ming dynasty. I have already memorized all the details of this Mandarin Duck Formation in my heart. Since the Mandarin Duck Formation can form an effective resistance against Japanese pirates, he naturally does not hesitate to promote it. Immortal, please come up with the next question. 
Which of the following does not belong to the period of Zhu Yuanzhang? A. Abolish prime ministers. B. Eight expeditions to the Northern Yuan dynasty. C. Lan Yu conspires to rebel. D. Jingnan battle. Just learned the Mandarin duck formation. Lan Yu, who was still feeling a bit excited, suddenly felt like someone had poured a bucket of cold water on her. The four big words, Lan Yu conspires to rebel, directly make him freeze in place. Me, will I rebel? How could it be? This, this must be fake. This answering space is trying to harm me. Sensing the gaze that Zhu Yuanzhang had cast aside, Lan Yu's legs softened in fear and said, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, the third option must be false. I can never rebel. I have made great contributions to the Ming Dynasty, and I am also loyal to the Grand Prince. Your Majesty is well aware of this. There is still some arrogant and domineering blue jade coming to Japan, where does it still look any more upright at this moment? Under the gaze of Zhu Yuanzhang. I'm already trembling with fear. Remembering the proud appearance of relying on military achievements before, Lan Yu only wanted to go back and slap herself twice. He knows the temperament of His Majesty himself. Once you start to suspect someone, I will continue to be suspicious. If it is really believed that there will be a rebellion Lan Yu's body trembled, and he couldn't even imagine what would happen next. Lan Yu conspires to rebel. Zhu Di occupies the thirteenth place on the emperor's list, but Biao Er has not ascended the throne. Zhu Yuanzhang squinted his eyes. A bad idea appeared in his mind. If that's the guess, then everything makes sense. But it doesn't make sense. Biao fought against the world together with himself, and behind him stood a powerful figure from the Huaixi region. Blue Jade is a member of the Huaixi aristocracy. Will they plot against Zhu Biao for the sake of Zhu Di? Get up, the answer hasn't come out yet. Why are you in a hurry? Zhu Yuanzhang snorted coldly, if there is really a rebellion, it's not too late to beg for mercy. This sentence made Lan Yu's heart tremble even more. It's hard to say, this emperor has definitely started to suspect himself. Shan Chang, come and talk about it. Li Shan Chang stood up and said, Your Majesty, based on my speculation, the first of these four answers has already occurred and can be ruled out. Your Majesty is able to abolish the Prime Minister and become the Emperor for eternity. As for this second one, the old minister believes that it is also very likely to happen. After all, although the Northern Yuan dynasty fled in chaos, the grasslands were so vast that my Ming dynasty may not have the ability to clear the entire grassland in a short period of time. Can we eliminate the remaining power of the Northern Yuan dynasty only after eight northern expeditions? Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a dangerous expression. Let's put it this way. Is the northern expedition just halfway through now? As for the fourth option, Li Shan Chang continued, cleverly avoiding the third option. I believe there are two versions. One refers to the historical event in the second year of Jing Kong when the Jin dynasty went south to capture the capital of the Northern Song dynasty, Tokyo, and abducted emperors Hui and Qin, leading to the downfall of the Northern Song dynasty. The second one is Ying Tian, the capital of our Ming dynasty also known as Jing Kong in ancient times, but. After thinking for a moment, Li Shan Chang smiled and said, I have a strong army in the Ming dynasty. How could there have been the so dot called Jing Kong battle? It makes sense. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly, then glanced at Blue Jade again. So, is Lan Yu's rebellion true? Your Majesty, I dare not rebel in the face of death. Lan Yu quickly knelt down again, crying with a runny nose and tears. However, even the benevolent crown prince Zhu Biao treated him coldly. For the emperor. Rebellion is absolutely unacceptable. Otherwise, why did Zhu Yuanzhang eliminate all difficulties and kill tens of thousands of people alive in the case of Hu Weiyong? It is because Hu Weiyong, relying on his position as prime minister and being close to the powerful figures in Huaixi, intends to rebel. Immortal, let's choose the fourth one. Correct answer, 
may I ask if you want to view the parsing? Zhu Yuanzhang did not hesitate. Check the analysis. After eliminating Hu Weiyong, Zhu Yuanzhang dismissed the left and right prime ministers and abolished the central secretariat. The reasons for this were divided into six parts. Later, he established a palace and a scholar to serve as an advisor to the emperor. Zhu Yuanzhang ended China's prime minister system and strengthened the autocratic imperial power The first northern expedition was in the third year of Hongwu, and the right prime minister Su De was appointed as the general of the expeditionary force, while the Zhejiang provincial governor Li Wenzhong was appointed as the left deputy general. The eighth northern expedition was in March of the 29th year of Hongwu after Zhu Biao died of illness, Zhu Yuanzhang feared that the powerful officials in Huaixi would cause chaos, so he took the Blue Jade case as an opportunity to not only execute the Blue Jade sect, but also implicate Duke Fu Yud, Feng Sheng, Wang Bai, and others Qingming outing in happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. Black Prime Minister Yao Guangxiao. What a slaughter. You are listening at novelfull.audio. I didn't expect this northern expedition to last for another nine years. Zhu Yuanzhang frowned. In the next nine years, four more northern expeditions will be launched. However, in order to completely eliminate the northern Yuan, these are all worth it. But after seeing the next parsing, Zhu Yuanzhang was slightly taken aback. He blinked his eyes to make sure he didn't misread. I couldn't help but feel a bit awkward. He still knows himself very well. If Xu Biao really died suddenly of illness, in order for future emperors to be able to suppress these meritorious officials, there is a high probability that he will be punished with a butcher's knife. So all of this is a misunderstanding. Is Lan Yu actually not plotting a rebellion? Did he get rid of these Huaixi nobles himself and make an unfounded accusation? Cough, let's take a look at the next question. Zhu Yuanzhang felt a bit embarrassed. Li Shanchang quickly reminded, Your Majesty, you haven't checked the analysis of the fourth option yet. Is that right? Zhu Yuanzhang reacted and quickly clicked on the fourth option. The blue jade on the side was full of grievances. I was scared for nothing when I didn't do anything myself. Not right. At least I know that in the future, I will be executed by His Majesty among the nine tribes. Lan Yu choked up. This doesn't seem like good news, damn it. D. Emperor Qingzu of Ming Dynasty, Zhu Di, possessed both literary and military skills. With the assistance of the black-clothed Prime Minister Yao Guangxiao, he developed ambitions after Zhu Biao's death and was unwilling to let others down. After Emperor Zhang Wen Zhu Yunwen ascended to the throne, he greatly weakened his fiefdoms. Zhu Di was forced to rebel and had no choice but to fight against the tide. Three years later, he won the throne, and the most crucial battle was called the Jingnan Battle Zhu Di shrank his head. I dare not speak at all. And this analysis also made Zhu Yuanzhang frown. In fact, from the analysis of the previous option, I learned that my child died of illness. He had already gradually guessed. How did Zhu Di win the throne? Among the descendants of Zhu Biao, Zhu Yunwen is the eldest grandson of the emperor, and in terms of ability, Zhu Yunwen is also more prominent among the other grandsons. After my own death. It is certain that Zhu Yunwen will be appointed as the emperor of the Ming dynasty. So when he saw the analysis, Zhu Yuanzhang was not surprised. But he still has some confusion. How did one lose by crushing one domain with one country's territory? Even if the army raises a herd of pigs. Can we also drown Yan's land by charging? And how dare Yao Guangxiao call himself the prime minister in black? In the thirteenth year of the Hongwu reign, he firmly opposed public opinion and abolished the system of prime ministers. Now, surprisingly, a black-clothed prime minister has appeared next to Zhu Di. This is not hitting oneself in the face, what else can it be? 
After pondering for a moment, Zhu Yuanzhang showed an interested expression and said, Is it because of this person that Lao Si was able to successfully seize the throne? If that's really the case even if he doesn't like this guy, he thinks he will still use him. Zhu Yuanzhang looked at Zhu Di and chuckled, Fourth Master, is there a person named Yao Guangxiao in your mansion? This person was originally a monk. After answering the questions, the child sent him to the palace. Zhu Di quickly replied. Okay, let's see who this black-clothed prime minister really is. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly. Seeing this, Zhu Di finally breathed a sigh of relief. Although I didn't snatch my elder brother's seat, I also snatched my own nephew's seat. Now looking at my father not mentioning this, it seems that I have finally passed this level. As for the Dao Yen who claims to give himself a white hat. I can go to your mother's house. Father and elder brother have both entered the immortal realm and still want to spy on their superiors. I, Zhu Di, have a bit of ambition, but that doesn't mean I, Zhu Di, am a fool. It's more cost-effective to wear a white hat for your funeral. Question 4. May I ask which three emperors were not buried in the Ming Dynasty's thirteen tombs? Please choose from all the emperors of the Ming Dynasty, Emperor Hongwu. Zhu Yuanzhang, from the first year of Hongwu to the thirty-first year of Hongwu, Emperor Jiangwen. Zhu Yunwen, from the first year of Jiangwen to the fourth year of Jiangwen, dot. Emperors throughout the Ming Dynasty have appeared in the options. There were a total of 16 emperors in the Ming Dynasty, but only the 13 tombs. So what would be the three emperors who were lost outside? Zhu Yuanzhang said with some confidence, the first one to rule out should be us, right? I am the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty, how could I possibly be thrown out of the 13 tombs of the Ming Dynasty? I should be in the most central position. The other four quickly flattered and said, Your Majesty, Father, is absolutely right. However, Zhu Yuanzhang's proud expression only lasted for a moment, and soon became indifferent again. So tell me, who are the three emperors who are not in the Ming Dynasty's thirteen tombs? After thinking for a moment, Zhu Biao said, Father, is Chongzhen, the fallen ruler of the country, not located within the mausoleum of the thirteenth emperor? After all, he was the last monarch. In previous dynasties, the last monarch was hardly respected. Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly and said, Since that's the case, the first one to be selected is Chongzhen. Li Shanchang looked at the list of emperors in the Ming dynasty. Suddenly noticed a very strange phenomenon. One of them was an emperor named Zhu Qijin, who seemed to have served as emperor twice. Eight years of it seem to have been occupied by Zhu Qiyu. Is it true that this person is also a usurper of the throne? Li Shanchang had some speculations in his heart and immediately said, Your Majesty, I believe that the second emperor who was not placed in the thirteen emperor's mausoleum may be Zhu Qiyu, the Mingli emperor. Oh! Zhu Yuanzhang was taken aback and turned his gaze to Zhu Qiyu. After realizing that the time was wrong, he couldn't help but frown slightly. Is it difficult? This person was also seized by a feudal lord, but was eventually recaptured by Emperor Zhu Qijun. In an instant, Zhu Yuanzhang's impression of Zhu Qiyu was not very good. If this person were a feudal lord who seized the throne, then after Zhu Qijun regained the throne, he probably wouldn't be buried with the emperor's courtesy. The second candidate is also available. Ming Li Zong Zhu Qiyu. The rest is the last one. Lan Yu suddenly spoke up and said, Your Majesty, among the ministers, the last one may be Emperor Jiang Wen Zhu Yunwen. The four of them looked at him in confusion. Lan Yu gritted her teeth and said decisively, After the King of Yan seized the throne, in order to maintain his reputation, he would not have cast an imperial tomb for Emperor Jiang Wen. Otherwise, how could he prove his legitimacy? Zhu Di widened his eyes. I looked at Blue Jade incredulously. When did Zhu Di offend you? I didn't expect you, a guy with thick eyebrows and big eyes, to say this at this moment. I'm sorry, Your Highness the King of Yen. 
Blue Jade faced Judy's angry gaze. The eyes are not red, the heart is not beating. Just now Zhu Yuanzhang mistakenly thought he would collude with Zhu Di, so he proved it to His Majesty the Emperor. I, General Lan Yu, am loyal to Prince Zhu Biao. Yen King Zhu Di. What kind of thing? I haven't even heard of it. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Zhu Yuanzhang's Angry Smile. Lao Si, you are really. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Although Lan Yu already knew that she might be executed by His Majesty the Emperor in the future. But that was on the premise that Crown Prince Zhu Biao died of illness. Now we have this miracle. Is it still possible for the Crown Prince to die of illness? If the Crown Prince does not die, he will naturally not be raided by the Nine Clans. So Blue Jade is very clear now. I must hold on to the thigh of Prince Zhu Biao tightly. But Zhu Di is not in such a good mood anymore. It is indeed possible to say so. To his despair, Zhu Yuanzhang nodded in agreement. Feeling the gaze cast by his father again, Zhu Di felt ashamed. This doesn't seem to be a problem solving space. But rather for his personal criticism space. Zhu Yuanzhang glanced at the list of Ming emperors again. Except for my own grandson. Among other emperors, there is really no reason not to be buried in the 13th emperor's mausoleum. Although I also saw a more outrageous one, Zhu Changluo, who had only been the emperor for a month. But after all, he is also a legitimate emperor. Burial in the imperial tomb is also legitimate. So the third option is Zhu Yunwen. Chengjin, Zhu Qiyu, Zhu Yunwen, do you want to submit an answer? Zhu Yuanzhang nodded and said, submit the answer. Zhu Qiyu and Zhu Yunwen are the correct answers. Chengjin is the wrong answer The current correct answer rate for this question is 3.5 slash 5, wrong. Zhu Yuanzhang and Zhu Biao were taken aback. Isn't Chengjin the last emperor of the Ming dynasty? And it was also self-hanging in Coal Mountain. How can it still be buried in the imperial tomb? Is it difficult for the rebels to bury him? Who else could it be? Zhu Yuanzhang's face was full of doubts. A line of large characters appears. The correct answer is. Zhu Yuanzhang, may I ask if you want to view the parsing? The last one who was not buried in the 13th Emperor's mausoleum is at us. Zhu Yuanzhang was bewildered. When he learned about the cause of the downfall of the Ming dynasty, he was only angry, when he learned that Zhu Di would rebel, he was only angry. But when he found out that he had not been buried in the 13th Emperor's mausoleum, he feels like he's all stupid. How could this be possible? Are we the founding emperor of the Ming dynasty? Even if we don't let anyone enter the 13th Emperor's mausoleum, it's impossible for us, right? Immediately, check the parsing. Zhu Yuanzhang is a bit anxious. He is considered a relatively traditional person. Now tell him the result after he died himself, he didn't go to his ancestral tomb. Chongjin. After the self-hanging of Maishan, a blood letter was left. Li Zicheng was moved by the last words of Emperor Chongjin, so he buried him in the Thirteen Tombs. After the Qin dynasty entered the capital, Emperor Xuanji wanted to vigorously promote and praise the achievements of Emperor Chongjin. In the fourteenth year of Xuanji's reign, Emperor Xuanji issued an order to the Ministry of Works to repair Chongjin's mausoleum. Blood Book Content Since I ascended the throne for seventeen years, although I have been humble and corrupt, and my superiors have become angry, all the officials have wrongly accused me, causing the rebels to approach the capital. After my death, I have no face to see my ancestors underground, so I have taken off my crown to cover my face. Let the thieves divide my body, and do not harm any one of the people. After reading the first analysis, Zhu Yuanzhang fell silent. Chongjin, who was considered the ruler of the fallen country by himself. 
Surprisingly, it was possible to have both the rebels and the Qing dynasty approve of him and both decided to bury him. The content of that blood book is almost overflowing with grief and anger. Let the thief divide my corpse, do not harm any one of the people. At this moment, Chongzhen was not thinking of himself, but of the people. Just this one. Let Chu Yuanzhang recognize his descendants who have never been masked. A monarch who values the people, no matter how poor, can still become a loyal ruler. And the downfall of the Ming dynasty raising silver, the entire Ming court raised 30,000 taels, during the Little Ice Age, with thousands of miles of bare land and thousands of miles of ice, grain production was severely reduced, the northern Jinnu became increasingly powerful and became the biggest border threat there are so many threats present. Chongzhen's failure to hold on to the Ming dynasty was also a matter of helplessness. Especially in the blood letter, what kind of grievance and anger did the officials mistakenly write in the four big characters, I. What a minister has misled me. But the next second, Zhu Yuanzhang snorted coldly, Chongzhen is really a soft egg. Have you not learned a single method of robbing the family and destroying ancestors from us? If he were Chongzhen. Directly give a quota to the courtiers. Can't make it together. One or two less, just chop off one head. After reading my mind, I will confiscate the entire family. Who dares not donate? Do you want to see if it's your group of corrupt officials with iron heads, or are our leading knives hard? After hearing these words, Lan Yu and Li Shan Chang also shrank their heads. Those who dare to talk about decapitation and family theft. I'm afraid this emperor is the only one left. Zhu Yuanzhang suddenly realized something and quickly said, Immortal, what about my analysis? He won't forget that he wasn't buried in the thirteen tombs just because of Chongzhen. When Zhu Yuanzhang died, the capital of the Ming dynasty was still in Tian. Zhu Di moved the capital, but due to fear of consuming too much wealth, he did not move Zhu Yuanzhang's tomb to the capital, we didn't enter the thirteen tombs. Is it because we moved the capital and didn't move the graves? Looking at the analysis, Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes narrowed. Zhu Di, who was already somewhat cautious, felt a darkness before his eyes. Almost spewed out a mouthful of old blood. Is it because Zhu Di doesn't worship Buddha and doesn't believe in him, that he has provoked immortals? Four questions. Three are related to oneself. What kind of immortal is this? He came specifically to seek revenge on himself, right? Lao Si, ah. Zhu Yuanzhang turned around with a smile on his face and gently touched Zhu Di's head, saying, Why didn't my dad realize you were so filial before? Zhu Di was going crazy, tears swirling in his eyes as he said, Dad. You left your father alone in Ingtian to save money and benefit the people. How could your father blame you? Zhu Di's tears streamed down his face and said, Dad, really, isn't it really my fault? Zhu Yuanzhang's smile became even brighter. How could I blame you? Dad loves you too late. Zhu Di burst into tears and laughed back, but suddenly saw Zhu Yuanzhang take off his belt. A little puzzled. Dad, what are you doing with your belt? But soon he understood. The next second, I saw Zhu Yuanzhang's belt fiercely hitting me. Papa, we'll let you usurp the throne. Dad, I dare not. Papa, let's leave your father alone in Ingtian. Dad, maybe it's fake. Papa, fourth, are you questioning the immortal? Well, then it's not fake, Dad. Don't worry. I definitely won't do it in the future. Oh dear. Do you mean you still want to be the emperor? Pa Pa Lan Yu said, after all, His Highness the King of Yen is a precious person. What he has committed is just a matter of the future. Your Majesty, you should not be angry. You can just beat him with your belt, but don't use the horse whip brought by me to beat him. Zhu Di's face stiffened. You are pleading with me. Or is he fucking making a fuss? Watching Zhu Yuanzhang happily take the whip handed by Lan Yu. His pupils suddenly contracted. Sleeping slot. Dad. 
This is a whip. This will take a whip, but there will be an accident. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. The end of the question, with an accuracy rate of 9%. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The following questions are indeed aimed at Zhu Di by Zhu Yungui. Who would let this good uncle demote himself to a commoner after winning the throne? Although it may not happen in the future. But he feels like he still needs to vent his anger for the original owner. The last question can be chosen by the user themselves the space prompt pops up. Can you choose for yourself? Zhu Yungui's eyes lit up. If that's the case, then it's natural to choose a simple one. Not only for the sake of daming. The rewards received by oneself are also based on feedback from the rewards received by the imperial grandfather and others. The better the rewards they receive, the better their own rewards will naturally be. Found it. Question 5. Who was the last ruler of the Ming dynasty? A. Zhu Yuanzhang B. Zhu Di C. Zhu Chang Luo D. Chongzhen, Zhu Yuanzhang, who was teaching his filial son a lesson, stopped beating his whip when he saw a new question appear. And Zhu Di, who was beaten. At this point it was already green and purple, looking so miserable. This question is so simple. After taking a glance, Zhu Yuanzhang felt a sense of joy in his heart. Isn't it that the immortal saw me scolding someone who didn't respect him, so he was happy to give us a score question. Looking at his father's smile, Zhu Di only felt a tremble in his heart. Immortal, let's choose D. Correct answer, the accuracy rate of this answer is 90% in space settlement, settlement completed, congratulations to the respondent for receiving rewards. 3 wash marrow pills, 100 caddies of potatoes, 300 caddies of corn, and 500 caddies of sweet potatoes. When the sound disappeared, four things appeared in front of everyone floating in mid-air. A jade bottle, a round yellow ball, a yellow rod, and a red one, isn't this the legendary elixir? Zhu Yuanzhang looked at the first jade bottle and instinctively swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Although he did not attempt to pursue immortality like other emperors. But all the immortal traces have appeared, isn't it too much to reward oneself with a fairy pill? Wash Marrow Pill Wash Marrow Pill is a precious pill that can wash the marrow and stimulate the pulse, eliminate impurities in the human body, and enable users to achieve a clean body. It also greatly improves their qualifications and talents, and has huge benefits for the human body. After reading the text introduction of the space, everyone was stunned. Wash tendons and cut marrow. Achieve a flawless body. This is definitely a elixir. If given to the child, can it be used for pest control? Zhu Yuanzhang suddenly thought of a crucial question. Can, wash marrow pill is not an ordinary thing. If we wash Zhu Biao's tendons and marrow, and then let him practice martial arts. A mere illness is not a problem. Great. Zhu Yuanzhang laughed heartily, and now he had no worries at all. Blue Jade is also extremely joyful. If the young master is fine, it means that he will also be fine. Zhu Di just looked pitifully at it. Three marrow washing pills, you can tell with your but that there is absolutely no part of him. Even if father wants to reward himself and suddenly fears that he will have even greater ambition after swallowing it, what should he do? Zhu Yuanzhang looked curiously at the other three things, with a bewildered expression on his face. Immortal, may I ask what these three things are? With Zhu Yuanzhang's QA, pieces of handwriting appeared next to potatoes, corn, and sweet potatoes. Potatoes. Good variety, can be roasted, boiled, can be used for dishes, can be used as a staple food. Produce 5,000 kilograms per mu. Corn. Good variety, can be roasted, cooked, can be used for dishes, can be used as a staple food. Produce 2,000 kilograms per mu sweet potato. A good variety that can be roasted, 
boiled, and used as a staple food. Sweet taste, yielding 6,000 kilograms per mu, hiss, when they saw the handwriting next to these three things clearly, everyone present immediately took a deep breath. How could this be possible? Can you produce 5,000 kilograms per mu? Can you produce 2,000 kilograms per mu? Can you produce 6,000 kilograms per mu? What kind of grain seed is this? It's clearly a divine object, divine object. Zhu Yuanzhang trembled as he held these three things in his hand, with an incredible expression on his face. Fairy, is the description of this thing true? Truthfully, Gulu, Li Shanchang and Lan Yu instinctively swallowed their saliva as they looked at the three items in Zhu Yuanzhang's hand, their eyes not just at the food, but at the gods. If the production of this thing is really so high, then this thing must be a divine thing. This is definitely a gift from the immortal to the Ming dynasty. If it can be promoted, it means that the grain production of Daiming can directly skyrocket by dozens of times. What does food represent? Representing the treasury's financial resources. Represents population capacity. Representing the love and admiration of the people. Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes were already filled with tears, tears streaming down his old face. On behalf of the common people of Daiming, thank you to the immortals. He, who only comes from a peasant background, knows how important food is. Especially for the starving people. A full meal is their greatest extravagance. Previously, it was known that during the end of the Ming Dynasty, there would be a little ice age, with reduced grain production and a shift in people's children to eat. His heart is dripping with blood. So only when the anger is ignited by Zhu Biao in the end, will he hurt his hard hand. But now, with these three treasures, Zhu Yuanzhang swore to crazily store them. Let the national treasury hoard food that can satisfy all the people in the country. If Zhu Yuanzhang had just entered and started answering questions, all he had was respect for the immortal traces. So now, it's heartfelt gratitude. Even if he were to exchange his life for these three divine objects, Zhu Yuanzhang would not hesitate. The answer is over, the respondent is about to exit the space. Welcome to the next question however, Zhu Yungui did not want the life of this old emperor. As the sound fell, everyone felt a dazzling white light flickering in the space. After the light dissipated, they returned to their respective places. Feng Tian Hall Because of the disappearance of Zhu Yuanzhang, Li Shanchang, and Lan Yu. The officials have become a mess. Suddenly. After everyone saw the flickering light door, the three of them walked out again. Each minister was extremely excited. Your Majesty, where have you been? But you scared me to death. Korean Duke, why are you only coming back now? This light gate is so wonderful that no matter how much we touch it, we can't get in. Look at these officials below who are either worried or acting. Zhu Yuanzhang's face remained expressionless. He already had no favorable impression of the civil service group, Zhu Yuanzhang had no favorable impression of civil servants because he was forcibly taxed by officials when he was young, which caused his parents to die, now that we have learned from the answer space about the actions of the officials behind the Ming dynasty. Looking at some mournful ministers, Zhu Yuanzhang's eyes even flashed with disgust. All right, I'm not dead yet. What are you doing here, crying and losing face one by one? Zhu Yuanzhang let out a cold snort. Just as I was about to say something, I suddenly noticed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and corn on the table. Suddenly, there was a smile on her face. It seems that we weren't dreaming just now. The courtiers looked at Zhu Yuanzhang, who was as happy as a child. You look at me, I look at you with a bewildered expression on your face. The emperor was just angry, why are you so happy now? Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10. Salvation Immortal Seed. Feng Sheng, who wants to cry without tears. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Look at the three-piece set on the table. Zhu Yuanzhang's expression was as if he was looking at a peerless beauty. No. A peerless beauty doesn't have these three things to attract people. The ministers in the court were also curious and looked at Zhu Yuanzhang's table one by one. I saw three strange shaped things placed. What is that? The courtiers all widened their eyes, full of confusion. What exactly is it? Can you please the emperor's dragon face? Feng Sheng, with his sharp eyes, had already discovered that this object was brought out by Zhu Yuanzhang from the Guangmen. Quickly poking Lan Yu and Li Shan Chang with an excited expression on their faces. Two of you, what is the thing in your majesty's hand? Lan Yu replied somewhat mysteriously, this is a divine artifact bestowed by immortals. A divine object. Feng Sheng was slightly taken aback. What deity can make your majesty so happy? Is it possible that eating it can prolong life and achieve immortality? Li Shan Chang chuckled and said, Duke of Song, listen to your majesty. If I were to introduce such a divine object, you wouldn't believe it. Looking at the two people who were tightly guarded. Feng Xing became anxious and said, Duke of Korea, as the Grand Tutor, how could I not believe what you say? I hope the South Korean government can inform me that we are so happy to be in power, which really makes me curious. Li Shan Chang looked at Feng Sheng's anxious expression and suddenly came up with a plan. Korean Duke, why don't you and I bet on three months of salary? If you don't believe me, how about losing three months of salary to me? Feng Sheng widened his eyes and said, Duke of Korea, you are the Grand Tutor. How could you talk about such a thing in this hall? Can you just say whether to gamble or not? Feng Sheng hesitated for a moment and gritted his teeth, saying, Okay, bet. Li Shanchang's eyes showed a cunning look, and he hooked his fingers to make him listen. Feng Sheng quickly leaned in. Then he heard Li Shanchang say, To be honest, the reason why the higher authorities are so happy is because this divine object is a grain that can save lives. Grain type. Feng Sheng was puzzled and said, Even a new type of grain cannot be called a divine object, can it? Li Shan Chang continued, Do you know that the red one is called sweet potato? Which can produce 6,000 kilograms per mu. Why is a grain seed that yields 6,000 kilograms per mu not a divine object? The corn planted in the Ming dynasty nowadays only yields 500 kilograms per mu, and this is also a top dot notch good field. If it is slightly inferior, it usually only yields 300 kilograms per mu. Sweet potatoes directly increased the grain yield per mu in daming by 20 times. A year's harvest can equal the total output value of the past 20 years. 6, 6,000 pounds, how could it be? Korean Duke, don't deceive me. Feng Sheng's eyes widened and his face was full of disbelief. Li Shan Chang stopped talking and only compared three fingers. Signal three months of salary. Feng Sheng became anxious and said, Korean Duke, you are clearly deceiving me. How can I believe it? Li Shan Chang said calmly, We just bet you didn't believe it earlier, but now you really don't believe it. I won. You. Feng Sheng's face turned red with anger. Where can I say that a soldier meets a scholar? If it weren't for this being the court, he would have raised his fist the size of a sandbag and had a good debate with Li Shan Chang. How about this? Let's gamble on our salary for another year. Li Shan Chang suddenly said again, If what I just said about 6,000 pounds is true, then you will lose me another year's salary. If it is false, not only will I not want your three month salary, but I will also give you another year's salary. How about that? This. Feng Sheng hesitated for a moment. If you lose, this will be an additional month's salary for one year. But what if we win? Not only do I not need to pay a monthly salary, but I can also receive a one dot year salary from the Korean government. Come and go, you've made a lot of money yourself. Okay, bet. Feng Sheng gritted his teeth. 
struggling to death with courage and starving to death with timidity. Perhaps this Li Shan Chang is bluffing. How could there be a grain variety that can yield 6,000 kilograms per mu in the world? Li Shan Chang smiled and said, Thank you very much, Duke of Song. It seems that I need to have my servant add some dishes to me tonight. Looking at this image of a small person achieving success. If it weren't for this being the court, Feng Sheng would really want to spit at him. Damn it! These civil servants are the most annoying. But he didn't notice. The blue jade next to Li Shan Chang's eyes are almost popping out. Others don't know, can they not know? This sweet potato is a gift from the immortal, producing 6,000 kilograms of grain per mu. Isn't Li Shan Chang directly receiving Feng Sheng's salary of one year and three months? Lying trough. You literati still know how to play. Everyone, stop discussing below. The sound of Zhu Yuanzhang laughing came through. The attention of the ministers was focused. I saw Zhu Yuanzhang slowly standing up from the dragon chair, picking up potatoes, sweet potatoes, and corn to show to the ministers. I know you're all wondering what this is. So I'll tell you. The name of this item is sweet potato, the yellow one is called potato, and the stick is called corn. These three items are all the salvation seeds bestowed upon me by the immortal to save the Ming dynasty. Salvation Immortal Seed The ministers were bewildered, each without a clear understanding. Your Majesty, the Savior Immortal Seed. What does this mean? Feng Sheng asked impatiently. He gambled on his salary for a year. Zhu Yuanzhang laughed and said, Duke of Song, this sweet potato can yield up to 6,000 kilograms per mu. In an instant, the entire hall fell silent. No one spoke up. This matter is too unbelievable to be believed or accepted. But but no one dares to doubt it. Because everyone saw His Majesty enter the gate of light and then walk out. Everyone believes it. Your Majesty must have gone to the residence of the Taoist immortal. If this item was gifted by a fairy what's wrong with the higher yield per mu, as immortals use only immortal objects. But the key is is this a little more. This is not too much this is countless times more. Your Majesty, can you take this statement seriously? Feng Sheng was confused. Is there really a grain yield of 6,000 kilograms per mu? Zhu Yuanzhang chuckled and said, you have no joking words. Click in a faint moment, he seemed to hear the sound of heartbreak. Looking towards Feng Sheng. I saw Feng Sheng frozen in place. A face unexpectedly displayed both excitement and pain expressions at the same time. Duke of Song, what's wrong with you? Zhu Yuanzhang was stunned for a moment. Are you thrilled to hear that sweet potatoes yield 6,000 kilograms per mu? Nothing, nothing. Feng Sheng wanted to cry without tears and said, The immortal gave De Ming the seeds of salvation. I am happy for De Ming. One year's salary. This is one year plus three months of salary. Did you just lose to Li Shan Chang, this mortal being? For a moment, he suddenly remembered that Li Shan Chang seemed to have entered the light gate with his majesty. That is to say from the beginning, Li Shan Chang realized that sweet potatoes yield 6,000 kilograms per mu. These two bets. Are you deceiving yourself from beginning to end? Feng Sheng was furious and almost spat out blood. Li Shan Chang, I asterisk asterisk your big asterisk asterisk just catch the old man alone, right? Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 